Hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's Lionel, class of 2009, back with another episode of PV versus everybody. And today, we got the first spring scrimmage of the spring season. And so we about to lock it in, in the stadium, go talk with a couple of players, a couple of coaches, right? And see how everything's been going and how we've been building thus far. Because listen, we about to host the SWAC championship this year, right here at Panther Stadium. Let's get it. So, um, first spring, spring scrimmage you guys uh, just completed, right? How do y'all feel about just the linebacker room in general right now through the first couple weeks of the spring? I feel like us as a linebacker group, I feel like we all play extremely fast to the ball. I feel like we do good on our assignments. I think we, uh, we are the energy of the group. I think when somebody got their head down, we the ones that pick them up. And then when we got everybody in one court, then it's, it's hard to stop for yeah. Like you said, just the energy, we uh, bring the energy, and then we like got the most of the vets on the team, so we're the most experienced, so we just keep it together and make sure everybody else on the point. Yeah, boom squad, baby, you know what we do. You know how we coming, booming every day, all day. Nah, that's what's up. What What are you guys most excited about as far as playing in this defense? Um, we mostly mostly excited about the new guys coming in. We got new guys, got new D line, new uh, DBs that can help us out. We wanna, <laughs> you want to say hi to Jay, man. You got to say hi to Jay. What's going on, Jay? You that's, that's, Hopefully he can help us out a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bone. Yeah, fresh. A little bone. Yeah, a little bone. But yeah, we like we like our new guys coming in to help us out, and we trying to get back to the state. I mean, to the um the championship. And our DC uh, coach Rock, which our position coach too. I think he a good DC man. You know, he bring a lot of juice, a lot of energy. He a younger coach, so it's kind of easier to uh, relate to him and click with him. So just the energy he bring, we think we'll be good. This year. Dope, man. Well, I appreciate y'all. Any any last words y'all got just for PB Nation overall? Uh, tune come in. Watch us. Yeah, tune in. Come support, man. We need all y'all. April 13th, OPL. PB versus everybody. Support the channel. Hey, man. Tell them. Let them know. All right, man. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. All appreciate right, sir. you. Hey, so, obviously, right now, just had the first uh, spring scrimmage, right? You know what I'm saying? Had a couple weeks out here. Uh, what have you? What What are you liking and what are you most excited about uh, with this group of players out here you got on the defense? Uh, I think I think this defense in particular, man, we got good chemistry. Uh, we got a, a group that we started off with at the end of the year that's now back. Um, of course, we, we we missing maybe two linebackers off last year's team, one defensive lineman off last year's team, but everybody else is back. So these guys kind of know each other. They, they know the expectation of the program. They know how I am now as a defensive coordinator. And when, they, when we come out here, on, on most days, we have been a very, very dominant defensive unit. So that's kind of like what I like about the, the group so far this spring. I oh, mean, and you know, talking with some of the linebacker team, you know, the Boom Squad, as yeah, they call them, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were saying, man, they were super excited to be able to play with you, right? They feel like you really connect with the players. What is it, you know, in you and your personality, right, that you feel like helps you connect with the defense so much? Like, that? Uh, first of all, you know, I, I take a lot of a lot from when I when I was actually playing, um, I, as well as playing in this conference, man. I, I know what this conference is about. I, I know what playing the game is about. I know the. The, the type of attitude, the, the little nuances that you must have to play this game, and I try to instill that into my guys. Um, I'm, I'm a ball of energy. Um, they they know the expectation for me is is, is very very high. Uh, if I don't get it, I'm gonna get it. So they know that. So the expectation is there. Um, and and at the end of the day, they know it's love. You know, they know coach. Coach gonna do. Coach gonna coach. Coach really hard, but coach is there for him as well. Mm. So that's kind of my stance on how I attack my team as a coach. Nah, that's what's up, man. And any last words, man? You just got for PB Nation as a whole. Yeah, we we expecting great things. Um, I think this team right here is really really hungry for a championship. Uh, we're really hungry to get back. Uh, we making the necessary strides to get back, uh, and we won't quit until we get it done. All right, so Coach Lemke, man, um, obviously New Year, spring here. Um, super excited. How do you feel uh, the DB room is looking right now coming after these first couple weeks of the spring? Sure, the big thing is we're, we're progressing, and, and that's what spring's for, is developing the guys, taking it from where we ended the season at and, and getting them to be better and, and focusing on the fine details and tuning things up. We've got a group that's been here. 
um, through the whole back end in, in my corner room, the guys I have now who have only brought one new guy in. So we've been here, we know the system. Now it's about fine tuning things and, and getting them to play at that next level. Now, obviously you guys had a game last year where, I mean, you literally didn't give up any yards passing, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Obviously you can't expect that every game, right? <laughs> but um, uh, what, what are some things that you see that you guys can um, can tweak to, that push you guys more toward what, you, what we saw that game last year? Sure, a big part of that is, is the defense as a whole. You know, you got the, the D-line getting the pass rush, you got linebackers fitting the gaps, and, and throughout the week, the, the whole defense did a great job understanding what we are going to see on Saturday, communicating and all that. So that, that was a defensive whole effort from staff all the way through the players through the whole game. So, you know, it, it, it looks great for the secondary, but that's everybody involved right there. But to get us to play at that higher level, it's finding the six inches in our game and buying them back. It's getting crisp in our breaks. It's understanding splits and alignments, who's on the ball, who's off the ball, where the back is. It's it really understanding the game of football. And then the last part is fixing everything we need through individual, mm -hmm. carrying the individual drills over to practice, and then understanding that game time is no different than practice. Yeah. It's just different people running routes, different people running the ball and blocking, and there's more people in the stands yelling at him. Oh, that's important. So you just really stuck in one thing and getting the, uh, gets the players to understand that, hey, this drill we're doing in practice literally translates to yes. the game. And once they understand yep. that, that's why you say, right, you got to practice like you play. Absolutely. And, and that's one thing we do in our room is, hey, what drill is this? Because we're watching practice film, game film, hey, what drill is this? What drill is this? So now it correlates in their mind and, and, and they understand the importance of everything we're doing and how it all builds. And it's all teaching progressions. Mm. You know, take them from what level they're at, get them to the next level once they're there, understand what's next, and, and keep keep everything in the room and on the field progressing. So when we come the fall time, they're going to look at it and say, these guys are completely different than they were December 2nd of 20, uh, what, 23. Yeah, that's dope, man. Any last words you got for PV Nation as a whole? I got PV Nation. Hey, come out, support us. We're excited about it. We're putting in the work out here. Come fall time, we want everybody up in these stands. Hey, let's get it. So um, just coming in, man, in the spring, obviously this is the first spring scrimmage. Uh, you guys been here for two weeks now. Uh, how do you feel that the offense has been coming along as a whole so far? Uh, yeah, we're um, finding the expectation that we have to reach. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, we're working every day. Uh, we're really just building a bond between each other, uh, knowing our chemistry and relationships. Um, we still have some things we need to work on. Uh, just little stuff, but that all comes with learning new offense. But all together, we're, we're going in the right way. We're uh, trending in the right direction. So that's dope, man. And obviously, you know, being in the QB room where you got uh, Jaden there with you um, specifically, you know, how is how good is that having somebody there that you guys can kind of push each other, you know, and compete so both of you guys are at your best? I feel like it, it works. It works well because we both kind of sim like we're similar. We play alike. Uh, we're both we're, we're good friends. So and we all have a it's, it's a good little bond in the QB room. So. I feel like it's all work for the better. And uh, last thing, what, what's the most exciting thing about playing in this offense that Coach Weed is bringing to you guys this year? Uh, man, throwing the ball. I feel like, yeah, throwing the ball downfield, taking shots, and uh, and, and really keep, keeping the defense on their toes. And, uh, yeah. And any last words you got for PV Nation? Oh, uh, yeah, let's get ready to rock out. We got this spring game coming up, and we're going to be ready. Y'all come out and support, and let's do it. So, Jaden, man, obviously uh, this is going to be your, your second year now with the team. How do you feel the offense has been progressing so far during these two weeks of spring practice? Um, just from the two weeks of spring practice that we've had so far, I feel like we've come a, a, a we have a long way to go, but we've come a mighty long way, if you get what I mean. Um, it's, it hasn't been an easy start for us to get going, you know, um, with, the new, with new guys coming in, with um, a lot of guys that were seniors last year leaving, and we have a lot of new guys coming in, getting to learn our new getting to learn our teammates, along with getting to learn our coach as well with the system that he has for us to run. So um, I feel like we're, we're making strides, you know. Um, we still have a very long way to go, but we're making strides that we um, need to head into the right direction, so. That's awesome. Uh, what, I mean, what is most exciting about this new offense uh, that Coach Wheaton is bringing to you guys this year? Um, the explosiveness, uh, getting guys the football in space, being able to stretch the field vertically, horizontally, you know, being able to just um, do different things with the football, putting us as quarterbacks in the right position, you know, to make plays and get our guys the ball. Nah, that's what's up, man. And how, how does it feel, you know, I know uh, we talked with Cam earlier. How does it feel you having both of you guys in the room 
be able to really uh, push each other right to be the best that both of you guys. Yes, can sir. Um, it's, it's great to have a guy like Cam in the same room with you, uh, um, amongst me as well. You know, um, great competition, great guy, great leader as well. You know, I got to give credit when credit is due. You know, so um, we just try to take what we can and learn from each other and build on top of it. You know. Um, whether if it's something that I struggle with or something he struggles with, you know, um, we try to help each other along, keep encouraging each other because, shoot, we're on the same team at the end of the day and we have the same ultimate goal, which is the SWAT championship. Nah, and that's for sure. And I've seen some uh, big explosive plays even from you uh, just this, after, uh, this morning, right? Yes, now, sir. So any last words you got for PV Nation just as a whole? Uh, PV Nation, hey, the air show coming, 30 for 30 coming, just along with our boom defense, man. So, hey, be prepared for a show this season, most definitely. So, man, coming to the first spring game right now, uh, spring scrimmage, right? You know what I'm saying? You guys had a couple weeks in the spring so far. How do you feel like spring has been going so far for you guys? Uh, I feel like it's definitely a work in progress every day, but I know we want to come out here and try to put something better on tape each and every day and kind of just stack days on top of days and see what we get at the end of this. Obviously, man, you're a really dynamic player, obviously, right? Um, what's most exciting for you about playing in this uh, new offense that Coach Whedon is bringing? Um, naturally, I would just say being able to feel useful or more so just being an asset towards the team and being able to give just about any and everything that I have um, as, a, as an athlete, first of all. Um, I, like, I like the new creativity of it. I know we have a lot of different ways to get athletes the ball, to get people, guys, guys basically the ball in space. But like, like I said, it's honestly a blessing to be able to be an asset to the program or be an asset on this side of the ball, which is offense, you know what I'm saying? I, I love to be able to feel like I'm actually helping put an effort towards the team. Nah, that's dope. And, uh, and man, I know you got, a, you got a dope personality. We've seen some of your stuff, you know what I'm saying, offline. What you got working on offline that maybe people don't know about, you know what I'm saying, about Chris Heron? So I kind of been just, you know what I'm saying, um, showing people the side of me that's off the field. Like you said, the personality side, like a lot of people normally see what goes on on Saturdays at the game or maybe just in pregame. But I just feel like I have a lot more to bring to the game, not just on the field. But I feel like uh, my off the field personality is something that kind of um, embodies who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? I like to have fun. I like to smile. And I like to see other people around me have fun and smile. So I feel like I approach my daily life the same way. You know what I'm saying? I'm always um, an outgoing person. I, I love to talk. If you can't tell, I love to talk. <laughs> Um, and just basically be the guy that people can feel comfortable around. Nah, that's dope, man. Appreciate you. Any last words you got just for PB Nation as a whole? Uh, come out and support. It's a big year for us. Uh, we're going to need all the support we can get. Go Panthers. So, um, man, we just got through the first two weeks of uh, spring practice, obviously the first spring scrimmage. Uh, what are you most excited about with this group that you've been seeing um, so far in these last two weeks? Man, uh, just um, <laughs> the buy-in. At the end of the day, man, it's the buy-in. Um, we got a vision. Uh, the kids are seeing the, the, the thing getting put together, and um, I'm excited. I'm super excited about the buy-in. Um, the kids out here, you know, going out here, making plays, um, buying into our culture. And at the end of the day, man, that's all I'm looking for, is them to be able to buy into a vision that's bigger than themselves, and we've been doing that. And so I can take the results. Whatever they like. Nah, that's what's up. And I, I know, obviously, you know, within that the offensive scheme, right? You got different rooms, right? I'm talk a little bit about the different rooms that you have, right, and what you've been seeing from each of those rooms uh, separately. Yeah, well, separately, uh, as a collective, they all been competitive. I just want to be able to say that every room that we have is a competitive, competitive room. Uh, you look at the quarterback room, um, and you look at uh, Jaden, and you look at Cam. Uh, they've been doing a great job of helping each other, uh, being brotherly as they battle. You know, at the end of the day, they are in the position battle. Um, but um, I'm seeing calmness. I'm seeing some poise in there, and um, I'm loving what I'm seeing from the quarterback room. Running back room as well. Um, you got Wisham, you have Chunky. Uh, those guys have been um, even killed inside that room. Uh, been um, a great spirit just to be around. And I see a lot from our running back room where they can be competitive. You can throw Scooter in there as well. Um, just our new kid coming from uh, Northwestern State. Uh, been really, really good to be around those guys and they're all skillful. Uh, you look at our your run receiver room and uh, you know, it's a lot of guys in there. A lot of different body types. Um, you got Raheem. Uh, you got Shamar, uh, you got uh, Coop, um, you got guys out there, uh, Chris Heron, um, that play the slot. Uh, you got guys, outside guys, you got guys that can blow the top off with Spiller. So it's been a good room to be able to grab a hold of and be able to see what they can do and put them in positions uh, to be successful. Uh, when you look at the tight end room, you got more fullback body types in there. Um, you got a kid who's been really been great for us, uh, Jace Madlock, uh, coming, to, uh, coming to us from Alabama State. I really love working with him. Uh, you've had David that's already been here, and then you have Sean. So all 
of those kids have been competitive uh, and they all have their um, their quirks and what they can be great at. Of course, they're working on their weaknesses, but my job is to be able to put them in position to be strength and no team is good without their O-line. And I feel like our O-line has been solid. Coach Green has been really getting after them. Um, I feel like we're getting our depth right, uh, being able to go out there and be too deep and you know being able to look, look to add more talent in all of those rooms, to be honest. My job is to make them competitive. Their job is to go out there and win the job. And so far, so good. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. That's dope, man. And now, any last words you just got for PV Nation just as a whole? Man, come out and see us. Man, come out and join us. Man, I think you got a really, really good buzz out here. Uh, but I don't want to say that. I want you guys to be able to come out and see it for yourself. So April 13th, we got a whole bunch of events. I want you guys to be able to come out, uh, join us, and let's have some, uh, let's have some fun. Right? <laughs> Can't miss your opportunities, you know what I mean? <laughs> they can help us out. We wanna, we wanna say hi to Javon. You gotta say hi to Javon. What's going on, Javon? That's so, it. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yep.